a lot of the time you have people who engage in haram relations those haram relations what they will do for you is remove the blessings from your life your wealth will disappear your contentment will disappear you are living on edge every moment my phone where is my phone my phone i need my phone why brother throw that phone one side don't worry you must be a man who lives content here is your phone everybody knows it is here your son wants to use it no problem take it your wife wants to use it no problem take it if you have that type of relation inshallah you are doing nothing wrong nothing wrong the question is how many are doing that that's the question Allah we need to ask ourselves where are we heading i think a lot of people are very very conscious of their phones from those who are the closest to them that means there must be something wrong what are you hiding remember you can hide from everyone not from allah and you know this thing it will not lead you to any way good it will go deeper and deeper until one day it will explode cut it today recognize your enemy imagine your enemy is telling you come you know it is like animals walking to a slaughter house we now recently we had eid ul adha you have animals sometimes when they walk alone they give you a problem so what you do you need to keep 5 6 7 of them and you need to move them together they move quickly they think we are going to something good and you know sadly sometimes you find the shepherd is showing them green green you know they are, they are showing them green leaves and they are busy eating and coming and eating and come they don't know there is a knife waiting that side there shaitan does the same to us he leads us with green green we see a pretty woman moving and we run behind her and we are going and one year and two year and so on it is going to come to the point of the knife one day we shaitan is driving us to the slaughterhouse we don't understand that